holes. So the gudgeon pin is in here. Yeah. And that's the same as a, that's why it's, I wonder where that expression comes from, because what, what connects a piston to a conrod is yeah. a gudgeon pin. So I wondered if it's uh, well, it's a short, stubby. But where that gudgeon thing. We'll, we'll have come with the bells first. Sure. Because the bells are the bells were, so. Yeah, I mean, an internal combustion engine was 1874, I think. Yeah. Um, but I wonder where the expression gudgeon, because gudgeon is, I think, fish. So this is this bell is held in place in the headstock by these, the, the clap that these bolts here that go all the way through the mm -hmm. bell. They used to. Is that just a sound deadening? No, it's um, to stop any um, spots between the metal casting and the bell that could cause the bell to crack. Right. If you, okay. you bolted it up tight. They used to have what are called cast in staples. There were loops cast in the top of the bell, cast in and strapped onto a headstock. And they do sometimes break. Wow. Well, they did sometimes break. So they were changed about 150 or 200 years ago to this idea of bolting through the bell. So if they break, the result of that is the bell could it's potentially... Collapses, yeah. Yeah. And this this is the clapper bolt, goes right. through the middle. I have no idea what these two bolts do. I can't imagine. They're in line with... Yeah, so this, <coughs> this is done with a different system, you can see. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's more modern. It's better. And that's ash as well, is it? Probably oak. Oak, right, OK. It's got two marks on it, because this is the bell number two. I can see what you mean about that up there. You can see that kind yeah. of cutout where that's the fine. original bell would have been. The, those cutouts yeah. were for the original bearings in the, they're part of the old bell frame, so they've been put there afterwards. Okay. Those slots, I, I've cut slots like that in the wooden frame at North Bradley. Really? It's 150 year old oak and it's like iron. It took me two days with a oh. mallet and chisel to cut one of those slots. Oh, no electrical gizmo then, just old fashioned. Yeah. Just because you're crawling around the frame, the wooden frame. The wooden frames are unsatisfactory because they have peg joints in the corners. Right. And they eventually work loose so the frame starts to move. It's right through and the bell's very difficult. So this tower is 12th century? The base is certainly right. not certain about the upper parts, but probably. And the stairway that comes up here, that would be similar? Similar, similar yeah. age, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I can't see anything up there, Steve. <laughs> So yeah, this is snow coming. So 